What is going on everybody? How is everybody doing today? And I'm back here today on NBA 2K20 with another realistic My League rebuild and today we are using the Boston Celtics. So I hope you guys all had a great Thanksgiving. The Celtics are 12 and 4 on the day I'm recording this, which is November 26th. So the Boston Celtics are one of the better teams in the Eastern Conference this year, one of the better teams in the NBA in general. And that's mainly because of their unselfish style of play between Kemba Walker, Jason Tatum, and Jalen Brown. Marcus Smart has been incredibly good for them on both sides of the floor. And obviously, Gordon Hayward was playing like Utah Jazz Gordon Hayward before he got hurt with that hand injury. So the Celtics are an interesting team because they do need really a five. Now, Daniel Tice has been really solid for the Celtics this year, mainly on the defensive side of the ball. And he's a really good player. Pick and roll partner uh, has been with Kemba Walker. Now, he isn't a threat much offensively, uh, but he's here for defense. Now, we'll see if Robert Williams, Time Ward, Time Ward, wow, I could have, I butchered that, and Grant Williams will develop into anything at the four or five. But we are probably going to be in the market for a center in this video. Now, if Robert Williams wants to develop, that's great, but he is 6'8", a little bit undersized there. So we'll see what that happens. Now, I, I thought in my head just something like, <laughs> this is probably me being too unrealistic. If Gordon Hayward was back to healthy or was back to full strength and he was playing how he was. Now, you probably can't get a great center for Gordon Hayward because Gordon Hayward is a little bit older and he's a pending free agent possibly. But like, would you trade Jason Tatum for like DeAndre Eden? I saw somebody bring up that idea. Now, in a fantasy world where you want to make any trades, yeah, that's probably an interesting move, but the Celtics would never trade Tatum. All right, guys, so we are going to send Romeo Langford and Grant Williams to the main red card. So the lineup or the rotation is going to be Kemba, Brown, Hayward, uh, Tatum, Tice, and then the bench is going to be Smart, Canner, Williams, Wanamaker, and Carson Edwards. That'll be for me. I'll see you guys at the end of season number one, and we'll see how far the Celtics can go in the 2020 playoffs. Okay, guys, so 2K isn't that much in love with the Celtics as it is with other teams. As we go 46 and 36 to wrap out season number one, Fred Van Vliet gets most improved player. That is cool to see. I tweeted it out the other night when um, it was the Sixers Raptors game that he should be at least in that conversation, as well as his uh, teammate, Pascal Siakam. So that puts us as the sixth seed in the Eastern Conference. And with injuries off, we're going up against Kevin Durant in round one. Now, I don't expect to win the title in year one. So we're going to have to see, like, if Gordon Hayward is probably going to opt in. Wow, he actually played pretty well. Um, this season, like, dude, wow, he was 47, 36, 90, average 18, okay, okay, but I'm guessing Brown wasn't, actually, he wasn't terrible, all right, so, um, I'll not talk about moves till the off season. so if we take a look at the stats, Kemba Walker was our leading scorer, as expected, 21 and a half points, 5 assists, 4 rebounds, 44, 37, 88 splits, uh, Gordon Hayward went over his numbers, but they were very solid, 5 and a half, 3 and a half, I'm gonna guess he's still gonna opt in, because it is worth, what, 30 something mil, 34 mil, yeah, I, I would expect him to opt in. Jason Tatum, though, 18 points, 6 rebounds, 1.2 assists, 50, 40, 85. Love to see that. Hopefully, he keeps developing. Jalen Brown, 15 and a half points, almost 6 and a half rebounds, 47, 34, 66 splits. Would like for him to be better at the line. Um, he's a little bit below average from 3. It's around 35% is now average from 3. Um, but he's still a great defender, so we have that. And then Marcus Smart, he's literally like the heart and soul of the Celtics team. Um, he, he might not be the best player. Uh, definitely the best defensive player they have, and he'll be here. I don't plan on moving him in this video. Um, and he's here, locked up for at least two more seasons. Now, obviously, center is the big thing we're going to look at in the offseason. And this Kenner wasn't bad. Um, but we'll, we don't need, like, a scoring center. We just want really a better rim protector slash rebounder. Um, Tice wasn't terrible. Seven points, eight rebounds, 2.2 blocks a game. Definitely going to look to bring him back. Um, and then, yeah, maybe we can make a move on draft night. Or that Grizzlies pick could be something. Time Lord wasn't bad. Um, and then we could see... Uh, Romeo Langford, 76 overall, and then Grant Williams, also a 76 overall. All right, so I'm not expecting to win a series here, especially against the Nets, but hey, we are up 3-1, to one and we win in 6. All right, so it's a rematch of the 2019 Eastern Semis, Boston versus Milwaukee. Uh, obviously, this is a different Boston team, and a little bit of a different Milwaukee team, but I don't, I don't expect to beat them, but we'll see, and... <laughs> We get swept. So it was a Lakers Sixers finals and the Lakers win in five. LeBron is your finals MVP. All right. So we do have the Memphis pick. If I believe it's outside the top five and they are projected pick seven. So let's hope they don't get lucky so we can add a top 10 pick to this team. And let's see what happens. Yeah, we don't have anything else correct. And yeah, it actually drops one spot to eight. So we have the eighth pick in this draft. Maybe we wanted it to get in the top five so we'd get Memphis's unprotected in 2021, but it's all right. We could look to add a center with that pick or maybe make a move. 
We could see if we could maybe, I don't know if like, uh, we pay the luxury tax. I don't know who the owner of the Celtics is off the top of my head. Um, but we'll see if Danny Ainge can get a move done or Mike Zarin, etc. Uh, so we're going to sign out one Masters and Randy Martin. I really don't know what I was saying about their front office. I don't know why I said that. Uh, Mike Bibby. <laughs> don't draft him. All right. All right. So if we were looking at big man prospects, because um, this is realistic. Yeah, it's really Wiseman, but he's not going to fall. I mean, Vernon Carey could be somebody. Uh, if we look at four, Sharif O'Neal is here. Uh, Precious uh, Chuya from Memphis. But we are looking for centers mainly. So we could maybe look at the trade market here. I, I don't know what centers would be available. Um, I don't think a lot of teams are going to have really players on their trading block. Unless we go to the Thunder and we see like Steven Adams there. Ha um, Monty Walker. And I don't think I want Lonnie Walker. Tobias Harris is on the trade block, but we don't need a four. We need a five. I don't know if we'll be able to afford Stephen Adams, but I feel like this is a trade we could make now. He will be a free agent next year, so his contract will go down. So um, it'll be descending. It looks like he got traded to Portland. Okay, but I don't think Portland wants to be paying the luxury tax at their current state. So I don't know if we can even afford him. Uh, we would have to start off with... Uh, I don't want to give up Tice, though. I mean, what about if we threw in Vincent uh, Porer? Uh, how much are we off? Uh, we're probably uh, Do we actually have to match the salary? That hurts. Yeah, we're probably not going to be able to afford him. Um, even if I gave up Grant. Yeah, uh, I'm not going to be able to get that money. All right, let's look at different centers. So I'm going to sort this out by centers that are making about 12, no more than 12 and a half mil. We'll actually just round that up to 13 mil. And then we'll look at uh, post defense. I would like, you know, a B minus at least. Rebounding a B plus. And then, yeah, that's all. That's good. And then physicals we could put at like a C. Uh, so Aiden, Bam, they're untouchable. I don't want Jordan. I don't want Whiteside. Dwight Howard, he'll be a free agent. Uh, JaVale, Jared Allen. Tristan Thompson, he's going to be a free agent or does he have an option? Mm, he might be somebody to go after in free agency. Derek Favors as well. Okay, if we have like a mid-level exception and we can get one of these guys, that'd be huge. Rashawn Holmes is somebody I also like. You know what? If I can trade for Rashawn Holmes, who looks like he got moved to Milwaukee. I don't, I'm not giving up that first round pick. But if I can give up, let's say... Hmm, time ward, I feel like people will get mad at me if I did that. Um, we'll give up Grant. Yeah, I feel like we can do this. Grant straight up for Holmes. Holmes looks like, and that's if we strike out on any centers in free agency. I would like Holmes um, as a rim protecting, athletic, rebounding center. Um, and yeah, I feel like at the four, we can make Robert Williams a four. Um, we would have Tice, we would have now Holmes, and then obviously Tatum is basically a stretch four in our lineup with Gordon Hayward. So we're going to offer this trade. Um, if I can get actually like the 14th pick, I would definitely take that. Uh, they would want Tice. No, I'm not trading Tice. Okay. Could I get a future first in like 2023? Mm, I don't want to keep trading first. All right. What about if we can get uh, a future second at least? Okay, so we pick up a future second. I'll see you guys with who I drafted pick eight. All right, guys, so we're going to be selecting Danny of Diha who fell to eight. He will be a nice wing off the bench. He's from Israel. He's actually supposed to go top like seven in real life in the 2020 draft. So I did take two Duke players as well. And then Kenny Blackshear, is he Louisville or he was from Louisville, I believe at one point. Um, but yeah, so we got Denny of Dia, um, Vernon Carey, and then Matthew Hurt. A nice, two nice bigs that could be off the bench at one point in their careers for us. And then Kenny Blackshear, another power forward. So we took three bigs after that. I feel like these two guys will be G League guys for next year, but we're deep. We don't really need to go after a center in free agency. Gordon Hayward opts in. Canner opts out as expected. Um, Ojale, we'll bring back. Um, he could just be a depth guy, but I don't think he'll play. Uh, so yeah, f qualifying offers. We're not going to give it to Tremont Waters. But we will give it to Taco Fall, of course. Uh, now, Moratorium. Um, if we look at centers that we could afford... Like JaVale or any of these guys really better than Rashawn Holmes or Tice that is worth like 8 mil a year or whatever. Not really. So I think we're going to roll with the Holmes and Tice duo for next year. We'll move uh, Robert Williams to a power forward spot. Well, he'll get like not a lot of minutes there. So yeah, uh, poor air. We're not going to really play him. Carey will be in the G League. Hurt will be in the G League. Williams will be the backup four. Um, I definitely want to give Dion minutes. Um, and then I want to give Langford minutes. Okay. Uh, so probably Carson Edwards won't be in the rotation. All right. So player progression. Kemba is still in 88. Jason Tatum, 87. Hayward, 83. Smart, 82. Kind of disappointing that Brown didn't go up that much. He's in 82. Williams in 80. Um, so a lot of green though, which is nice to see. Langford improved a lot. So did Taco, Waters, Edwards. So we do have two on top potentials to use. So I'm going to actually send it to Jalen Brown. I want him to be a like two-way star for us and then we will send it to jason tatum as well because brown and tatum this is their team for like the future okay it looks like we have to release three players 
Uh, so who are we releasing? All right, so unfortunately, we're probably going to release Ojale. We're probably going to have to... Uh, I don't know why the game signed me back to Tremont Waters. And then we will release uh, Poor Air um, because he's just useless for us at this point. All right, guys, so we're going to give 32 minutes to Kemba, Brown, and Tatum, 30 to Hayward, 25 to Tice, 27 to Smart off the bench, 21 to Holmes. Actually, I'm going to go 20 to Holmes, and we can give one more to Hayward. And then we have uh, Denny getting 15, 14 to Time Lord, and 12 to Romeo Langford. Fall, Edwards, and Blackshear will fall out of the rotation because Hurt and Carey are going to be in the G League. Now, system proficiency, defense is Brad Stevens' forte, but we are going to go up to balance because it's a whole star improvement. And then if we go over to preseason power rankings for five according to NBA.com. All right, let's play like the fifth best team and get a top two seed in the East. Okay, guys, so we are seven games better in 2020-21 as we go 53-29. and Giannis wins MVP. Again, he won it last year too, so that's back-to-back -back for him. Zion, rookie of the year. Uh, Ricky Reveal gets six minute of the year in Detroit. He was traded to Toronto and then traded to Detroit. Wow. Interesting two years for Ricky. Uh, Kawhi Leonard defensive player of the year, Malik Beasley gets most improved in OKC, and Antonio gets coach of the year. So that put us as the two seed in the Eastern Conference. We're taking up the Washington Wizards in round one. Wall, Beal, Brown Jr., Hashimura, Bryant. Okay, not too different of a team besides they did add RJ Hampton. So if we take a look at the player sets, Kemba Walker, 21 points, 5 in emphasis, 50, 43, 86. Way better efficiency this year than last year. Gordon Hayward, another good year from him. Even better efficiency this year. Did his true shooting go up? It did. So did, his, so did his effective field goal percentage. Now he is a pending free agent uh, with Denny Avida here, Avdia, um, Tatum Brown, probably not going to bring back Gordon Hayward. We might look to spend that money for a four or a five. Um, it would have been nice if we had that Memphis pick this year because we could have maybe offered it up for a good center like an Andre Drummond and maybe brought Andre Drummond here. Um, but we aren't going to probably have the assets to make a huge center trade unless we do move on from like Langford or Denny Avdia or carrier hurt uh tatum 17 points six rebounds 52 45 88 splits another solid year from him especially efficiency wise is that the best true shooting of his career it is 66 percent and a 62 percent effective field goal percentage which is great uh jalen brown 16 points five and a half rebounds 2.2 assists 50 34 71 um three point percentage went down just a tad but field goal percentage went up and so did free throw percentage which is nice to see for sean holmes nine and six very nice um one block a game as well is he a petting free agent he is, so we'll see how much he's asking for. Um, Romeo Langford, 8 points, 2.2 .2 rebounds on okay efficiency for a rookie. That's actually pretty good. Um, Denny had 8 points, 2.5 rebounds, assist and a half. Um, pretty poor efficiency overall uh, from the field. 34 from 3, which is a little bit below average, and then 86 from the line. And then Marcus Smart. Uh, Tice was actually pretty good in limited minutes uh, or 25 minutes a night. I'm going to look to bring him back. He's still uh, under 30. Robert Williams has been a little bit disappointing. Now, I can't trade him because he does have a team option on draft night. We might look to move him after that uh, because I don't think I'm going to bring him back next year. So, yeah, round one here against the Washington Wizards. This would be a really... Uh, can't even finish my sentence. I was going to say that would be a really upsetting upset. And we lose in six. Come on, 2K. Where's the Boston love here? So, yeah, we're not in the... We're not at... Um, contending at all um that's another disappointing season the rockets beat the nets in the finals hard in your finals mvp no i'm not firing brad stevens but that was really upsetting i don't know what the hell we lost that series so jeff watery we aren't gonna have any future picks in here uh so we do just have our first which is gonna be at 27 ah <sighs> 27th pick in the draft just for a first round exit that sucks you know what we're firing jamie young we're picking up the best assistant coach Stephen Dawkins, Otis Newman, Owen Taylor. We'll pick up Owen Taylor. All right, so it's almost NBA draft night. Now, if we are going to look for a blockbuster trade for a center, we do have the, I think, funds to take on a big contract. Uh, so if we are looking at centers, I mean, Andre Drummond just got a brand new extension from the Pistons, so I don't think they would move him uh, quite yet. I don't really want an offensive center. Uh, Montrezl Hale would be a nice pickup, but the Clippers invested a lot into him. I don't think they would trade him. Uh, Mitchell Robinson, and uh, no. I mean, Miles Turner. He has been decreasing a little bit. I mean, we could throw. I don't know, like, how good our offer would be. I mean, if we gave them Denny, uh, I, I think he would have to be considered in there. Like, him, 27, and a future first for Miles Turner. I mean, let's look at the the Pacers here. So, they did pick up Leonard, Goga, and they obviously have Sabonis. Um, this is honestly an interesting trade to look at here. Um... How are the Pacers this year? Were they disappointing? Because if they were disappointing, 
Did they even make the playoffs? They did. They were 49 and 33. I feel like they wouldn't break it up still. Hmm, I'm really tempted to actually like trade for Miles Turner. Yeah, it would probably be something like this. I don't really need Miles Turner in return because I could just bring back Holmes or Tice uh, to replace to, uh, Leonard. So, I mean, if we let it go Holmes, that'd be kind of a waste of Grant Williams. Uh, all right, so we'd have to give up Denny, 27, and a first for Miles Turner. I think that's a nice trade. I don't really want Miles Leonard in particular. Uh, do you have a good bench player that you just would be okay giving up? No, I feel like all these players are pretty important. If they're moving Turner, they probably want to keep Leonard for now. Um, so, yeah, we'll just take on... Miles My, Turner. This is our blockbuster trade. Blockbuster trade of the video. We are trading for Miles Turner, and they agree to that. We give up Denny Avdia, who I know I said was going to replace Gordon Hayward, but now maybe we could start Marcus Smart, um, and Langford could maybe be a six man, or maybe now we look to bring back uh, Gordon Hayward. So we are going to bring back Robert Williams, Langford, and Kenny Blackshear. Now uh, Leonard and George are. Uh, the top free agents, but we aren't going to have the money now. Uh, Matthew Hurt, 77 overall, uh, and Vernon Carey, 79. I am going to look to move Robert Williams here. Uh, if I can get a rotational point guard or wing player, I would take that. Uh, he's an 81, 23 overall. I saw Roberson, but I'm looking for some offense off the bench. I don't think Makai is really going to fit that. Uh, Rodney Hood, not bad. He's only making six mil a year. Um, you could probably put up better production than Denny did last year. Um, so yeah, we would have to throw in a second. Do I really have to throw in a second? Okay. Uh, do they need a power forward? They have Michael Kidd, Gilchrist, Collins is about to get it. Okay. Yeah, I mean, they have Nasir Little. Uh, they are kind of wing at the, uh, they are weak at the three, but they could play Kid Gilchrist there if they bring him back. So you know what? We'll make this trade. We'll pick up Rodney Hood. Um, I like that. So we're obviously going to offer Tatum and fall the qualifying offers. I don't think I'm going to look to bring back Gordon Hayward. He wants 15 mil a year, but I think we're going to go in a different direction. So obviously Tatum we're going to bring back, and I'm going to look to bring back Daniel Tice on a one-year deal. He wants a decent amount of money at six mil. I mean, I like Tice, but we do have a nice one-two here in Turner and Carey. So probably not going to go with that route. Now, if we did start, hmm, we might have to start Hood at the three. Ugh. Do I really want to start Matthew, Tur uh, Matthew Hurt at the four? I mean, what other power forward could I pick up? Chris Boucher? He was pretty good. I mean, we do have the funds to maybe offer him a two-year deal. Um, so we'll see if Toronto uh, matches that. So obviously, whatever deal Tatum gets, I'm going to match. Um, I don't really want to put Tice at the power forward spot. Actually, if we don't get Boucher, then maybe I will. So uh, we are going to renounce the rights on Gordon Hayward, $51 million cap hold. We're going to renounce the rights on Holmes. So I did give up a, pro a kind of promising young player um, or a good potential rotational guy in Grant Williams for Rashawn Holmes. But we are going to renounce those rights and hopefully pick up Chris Boucher if the um, Raptors don't match it. Obviously, we're going to match a Tatum deal. I didn't quite catch who offered him that deal. It might have been like the Hawks. So do we pick up Boucher? Uh, we do. Okay, so we are going to bring back Daniel Tice. Uh, we are going to renounce the rights on him. Did Gordon Hayward get signed? Looks like he did. Uh, who signed Gordon Hayward? I'm kind of curious. Um, so it was the Mavericks gave him a three-year deal. Okay. All right. So Tatum's at 89. He will, he might be the number one scoring option this year. Uh, cause Kemba is 31. Turner, uh, smart Brown. This is really good of a defensive lineup. And then Kerry Lankford, Hurt, Hood, Boucher, uh, Taco Falls in there. Edwards, Blackshear. Um, it's a young, but solid bench. I think, I think we could be a two seed once again. It just depends if we can actually show up in the playoffs. So we do have two untapped potentials to use. I think I'm going to, mm, do I, yeah, I'm going to use it on Jalen Brown. I need a big season out of him. And then we will send it to Romeo Langford because I think we need him to also be a really good bench piece for us. Now, I think I'm going to start Chris Boucher at the four. I mean, how tall is Boucher? He's 6'9". I think that's fine, but I'm not going to play him too many minutes tonight. All right, guys. So here's how the rotation is going to go. We got Kemba, Brown, Tatum, Boucher, Turner. It's a really good defensive front court. Um, Tatum definitely has defensive potential. We know Brown's a really good uh, defensive player. Um, hopefully Kemba doesn't hurt us too much, but he's been actually a solid defender in real life this year. Um, he hasn't been too bad. And then Smart, Hood, Langford, Carey, and Hurt off the bench. Come playoff time, I'll probably get rid of Hurt or Carey's minutes. Whoever plays worse out of the two. Sense of efficiency is four-star balance. Nothing is four and a half, so we're going to rock that. And then our preseason power king is third on NBA.com. Only teams in front of us are the Warriors. All right, I can agree to that, even though they, yeah, I can agree to that. And the Spurs. They side back Kawhi Leonard. As unrealistic as it can get. I'll see you guys at the end of season number three. All right, so we ended season number three with our best record by far in this video. And we go 66 and 16. Kyrie wins MVP. 
Jonathan Kuminga, is he from Kentucky, uh, Georgia? He gets rookie of the year for the Nuggets. Isaiah Whitehead, six man of the year. All right, I guess shout out to the Raptors development staff. AD defensive player of the year. RJ Hampton, most improved. And Brad Stevens gets coach of the year. So that leaves us as the one seed in the Eastern Conference. Taking on the Pacers, of course, in round one. Uh, Denny was better. Eh, well, uh, his efficiency went down. They have a Marcus Aldridge, too. I guess they signed him. I don't know what... Uh, Chad Buchanan and Chris, uh, Kevin Pritchard are doing there. All right, so player stats, we went uh, for our 66 and 16 record. Kemba and Tatum both 20 point per game scores. Love to see that. Kemba, six assists a night on 48, 41, 85 splits. I'll take it. Uh, Jason Tatum, 20.7 rebounds on 55, 45, 85 splits. Brown, 17 and a half, which is a career high for him on 49, 36, 71 splits. Um, Miles Turner had nine rebounds. Shot 40% from three and two and a half blocks. If you're getting two and a half blocks a night and shooting 40% from three, you're unique. I don't care who you are. 13 points and 43 from three off the bench for Hood. Love that. Uh, Langford shot 38 from three off the bench. Chris Boucher, eight and a half and seven. 45% from the field, 87 from the line. Like that. And then there's Smart, Carrie, and Hurt. I'm probably... Uh, Hurt can spread the floor a little bit, but I might go with Carrie. Uh, compl uh, Hurt can shoot the ball. Hmm, I don't know who to get rid of the minutes to. Let's see. We had the best net rating in the league with a positive 15.8, almost 16. Our defensive rating was number one in the NBA, and our offensive rating was also number one. Yeah, we are the best team in the NBA at the current moment. I know if it ain't broke, don't fix it, but I'm not going to give as many hurt uh, hurts minutes to Hurt, I think. What do I give? Because Hurt can spread the floor, or space the floor, but Carrie's probably a better defender, maybe a better player. Hmm, I might just get uh, 10 to each. Yeah, we can go 10 to each, and then we can give, like, two more to... Yeah, and we'll do something like that. Um, yeah, we can do something like that. All right, so round one against the Pacers. If we lose, I don't know what else to do in this video. Don't do this to me. Okay. We win in six. I don't know why it had to be like that. Um, we are a lot... We're the best team in the NBA. We shouldn't go to six in round one. Unfortunately, we did that. Uh, Tatum dropped 25 and six and a half in that series. Okay. He's now the number one option. He's got to lead us. Uh, Kemba Turner, Brown, Hood followed. So now we're taking on the Atlanta Hawks, who have Trey Young. Same team. They did sign Tristan Thompson, who I was going to look for. How much did he get a year? He got 10, 11. Okay. Probably out of my price range. Um, Whiteside, Dorsey. Man, we should beat this team. They brought back Jeff Teague. All right. We're up. Okay. We sweep them. And now we can get revenge against the Brooklyn Nets. Oh, Josh Green. They're starting Allen and Jordan. Oh, they got Mitchell Robinson. The Knicks traded Mitchell Robinson to the Nets. This might be the most unrealistic CPU trading or signing I've seen. We saw Jeff T back to the Hawks. We've seen Kawhi back to the Spurs. And now we see the Knicks trading Mitchell Robinson in state, in city, to the Nets. All right, here we go. Please just dictate the tempo for the series or dictate the series in game one, guys, and win this. Please don't lose game one. Don't lose game one. Oh, my God. We win by one point. 35 for Jalen Brown. Yes, Jalen. And you got Minnesota and Dallas over here. So we could face Gordon Hayward in the finals if we and the Mavericks win. And he was solid for the Mavericks this year. All right, game two. Come on, let's steal both in Boston. Let's win both in Boston. Well, not steal, really. Come on, come on, don't lose this. Don't lose this. Yes, we win by six. Kemba, 27. Hood, 26 off the bench. Tatum, 22 and three steals. All right, KD dropped 38, but that wasn't enough. Come on, just win this in Brooklyn. Please go up 3-0. Please go up 3-0. Come on, do this for me, please. Yes! Look at that fourth quarter. That is what I'm talking about. Jalen drops 33 points. Kemba, 31-7. and seven. Tatum, 27 points. 7 for 11 on threes. Matthew Hurt, 2 for 4 on threes. All right. I can simulate the round, and we swept the Nets. The first two games were close. Game three, we blew them out at the end. And then game four, damn, we dominated in the second uh, quarter there and we ended up winning by 16 and wow just we had one two three four five six seven guys get 12 points or more we're spreading the wealth that's the balanced system right there and we're not going to face gordon hayward we're facing carl anthony towns and the timberwolves so the timberwolves are rolling out walter lemon jr undrafted guy from bradley wow he's killing it in the playoffs all right seven and a half assists is he a former celtic he's got looks like he's wearing a celtic jersey maybe he was i don't know I don't think that's a Pels or a Bulls jersey. I'm kind of confused. Uh, Wiggins, Rocco, Jamario Jones. Jeremy o. Jones. He was in that Mo Wagner salary dump. <laughs> um, now he's starting in the NBA Finals. Cat, uh, Josh Akogi, 
Uh, Vika Zubats, Culver, Brook Lopez, Trey Jones. All right, they got some new heads. Uh, so it's 1-1 one, one after 2. Uh, I wish I could simulate game by game, but here we go. We do go up 2-1, to one, what I'm talking about. Um, I did not mean to play that. So game 3, we won by 17. Tatum, 28. In game 1, we lost by 16. Damn, we lost that in the 4th. Um, but game 2, Romeo Langford, the unsung hero. It's what you see in these NBA Finals. These... Guys, you wouldn't expect stepping up, and we are up three to one. Let's go, let's go, and win this in five at the TD Garden. It's looking like this is going to be a close game five, and we are up by three with two and a half minutes left. Uh, let's get this down to like 130, and okay, we're down by one, 90 seconds left, 91 to be exact. Let's win this. All right, so we do have the ball. Uh, Jalen Brown is a little bit tired, so I put in Marcus Smart over him. Oh, let's get to the rock, Jalen. Okay, he's going to get fouled. All right, so I'm guessing... Hmm, I don't know uh, if Marcus Smart's going to get taken out with this new rotation. Uh, so he hits that. Um, yeah, okay, Smart got taken out. Or no, wait. You know, I'm fine with Jalen Brown, but I want Kemba in. I don't know why we didn't put Kemba in. All right, whatever. Uh, so yeah, we got Jalen in. We got Tatum in. We got Smart Boucher, um, who's got A blocks. Uh, Turner, A plus. So we got the uh, the block party here for the front court. Cat going to the rim. Turner, good D. But he's going to get free throws. Oh, yeah. So we are going to take Smart out because, you know, Brown A plus perimeter D. Tatum A minus. We're fine there on the perimeter. Uh, and Kemba Walker, obviously, is probably our best offensive player still. So we're down by one here. Uh, let's see what we want to do. I'm going to call for a high screen and roll here with Miles Turner. Kemba Walker. Pull up three. Mm, that was risky. Uh, okay. Tatum, give me. I'm at Turner. Give me a screen here on with Tatum. Rocco, good defender. Kick it to Boucher. And they get a defensive three second violation. All right, and I did not mean to take that with Boucher. Uh, please hit this. He's a good free throw shooter. Anyway, so yeah, he hits that, and it's a tie game. All right, Tatum on Rocco here. Actually, want to go back to the pick and roll. I want to try to expose this Walter Lemon Jr. guy. Uh, Kemba, get to the rim. Get, yes, behind or around him, and he's going to get the layup to go. And we're up by two now. Jalen Brown is your player of the game in game five. Could it be a finals MVP guy? We'll see. All right, down by two. We need it. Uh, we don't need to stop here, but obviously that would enhance our chances of winning here. Turner on Towns, and Towns is just going to go right by Turner there. Uh, so we are all tied up here at 100 apiece. I kind of want to go to Jason Tatum here, but he's guarded by their best perimeter defender, Rocco. So maybe that's not a good idea. So maybe we should stay on this lemon, uh, or that's Culver now. Uh, yeah, let's go Kemba right to the rack, and he's going to get back to the line, or not back to the line. He was never there in the first place. Cat just missed the quick three, and we are up by two. Now let's hold on to the ball. Let's give it to Tatum at the top of the key. Oh, Brown's open. I don't know what I'm doing. Nope, get it to the top of the key. Are they double teaming? What are they doing? Boucher, I'm not taking that three. Oh, Miles Turner wide open. Nope, nope. We are wasting time. We are wasting time. Uh, they're double teaming Tatum. Tatum's got 23 and 10. All right, Boucher, high screen and roll. Oh, no. Shot clock winding down. Tatum. He's got to pull up. He's not going to hit that. Boucher, please get the... Oh, Jason Tatum! He's got ice in his veins. He wants that title. Holy clutch. All right, we are going to put Smart out there at the point for defensive purposes. Yeah, so Smart, Tatum, Brown, Boucher, and Turner. That is very nice to have. Uh, I don't know who this point guard is. Oh, that's... Is that Tyus Jones they brought back? Or... And I wasn't guarding him. And he's going to oh, miss that three. Wow, we are lucky. And we're going to be NBA Finals champions. Let's go. So yeah, we win the NBA Finals. And Jason Tatum is your Finals MVP. You know, he hit that clutch shot to give us the uh, four-point lead. 24 and a half points, eight rebounds, 51-48 splits as the number one option. Shout out to Jason. So yeah, that is going to be for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this realistic Celtics rebuild. I actually really like the approach I had in the video. Let me know what you guys think or thought about the video in the comments below. But yeah, that is going to be for me. Thank you all for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.